Relationships aren't easy, especially when one person is depressed. Their other half may back away or feel pushed, and love can fall apart. We're coming out of some rough years, and it's been a process. Ora Golden is navigating depression. Her husband, Ryan, hasn't always been sure how he can help. Initially, I would give Ora more space, you know, kind of give her her space to work it out in that sense. A new Canadian study says quietly backing off isn't the best approach. Researchers tracked more than 1,400 couples over six years. They found for those dealing with mental health issues, offering support instead of space led to better outcomes. For uh, men and women, the, when they received support from a partner during times of stress, they um, had lower symptoms of depression a year in the future, so quite a while later. Experts insist support can be as simple as asking someone, how can I help? I think it's important then to communicate with one's spouse as to what can I do for you, how can I help you? I do find that it tends to be more some kind of involvement, whether it's a, a word, uh, an action, a touch, tends to be much more powerful than it seems on its own. With therapy and open communication, the Goldens have come a long way. It's hard because I don't always know what to say, you know, or what's the right thing. But I think what or is, you know, said to me is just even saying that you're, you're here for me, you don't know what to say, is, is extremely helpful. Experts say the person offering support needs some as well, be it through family, friends, or therapy. Aura and Ryan say while some days are tougher than others, they're learning as they go and growing as they learn. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.